showing you how to install Siri on your unsupported device running the latest iOS 6 firmware, which is 6.1 right now. And this is fully compatible with the iPhone 4 and iPod Touch 4th generation, as well as the iPad 2. However, the iPhone 3GS is in beta stage, so it's not going to work as well as the iPhone 4 or iPod Touch 4th generation or iPad 2, but it is still there. And I just do want to show you that this is compatible with all devices. I'm going to go ahead and ask it a question. Siri, what's the weather in Vancouver, Washington? Here's the forecast for Vancouver, Washington through Sunday. As you can see, it does work, and this is an iPod Touch 4th generation. So let's go ahead and begin. So first thing is go ahead and open up Cydia. Inside, you want to navigate to the Manage tab, Sources, Edit to Add, and you're going to add the following source. HTTP colon forward slash forward slash iHackStore.com forward slash repo forward slash. Once you do have that added, go ahead and enter the repository. Scroll down to the S's and you're going to scroll just a bit till you get to the series. And here it is, Siri for iOS 6.1. This is what you're going to install on your iPhone 4 and your iPod Touch 4th generation. If you have a 3GS, this is the one you're going to install up here. And the beta that I was talking about is for 6.0.1 or the 6.0 version. So it's going to be right here for the 3GS. But if you're on 6.1, do install this one right here on your 3GS. And if you do have an iPad, scroll just a bit down, and there it is, Siri for iPad on iOS 6.1. So you want to make sure to install that. Now I'm warning you, it may take a while. There will be a lot of people installing it simultaneously at the same time as you. So you may have to restart the download a couple times, but once you do have it downloaded, exit out to your home screen and you will have this little guy right here so open that up go to free servers and we're gonna select siriport.ru dismiss download the certificate it's gonna take us to a website where we select which server we want to download here it is siriport.ru server select that now we're gonna scroll down on the website and there will be a link right here so this link right here new certificate install it'll take you to a new page in settings I do have this installed, so I'm not going to need to do that, but you guys do want to install that. Then head over to settings, and there's your certificate right there, the profile. But anyways, go back, go to Siri DR settings, Siri settings, enable Siri, and then go down and select your language over here, and that's pretty much it. So we're going to go back, respring, and we're now done. Siri should be working perfectly. If you guys are having any kind of trouble, you know, just keep asking it a couple questions. Eventually she will answer. Let's go ahead and give Siri a go. Siri, what are the show times in Vancouver, Washington? I'm looking for movies in Vancouver, Washington. I found quite a number of movies playing in Vancouver, Washington. Today. And there you go. Now, for those of you that are going to say this is a 4S, look, there's no SIM card. Here is a 4S in comparison. It does have a SIM card tray and it does have the extra writing on the back. Every single time I post one of these videos, there's always got to be that one guy that says, this is an iPhone 4S. I can do the same thing on the iPod Touch. Siri, what time is it in Moscow, Russia? In Moscow, Russia, it's 10, 20 p.m. And there you go. So guys, that is how to get Siri running on your unsupported device on the latest iOS 6 firmware. So I do hope you enjoyed this tutorial, so definitely like and favor this video if it did help you, it does help me greatly in return. Leave any comments down below, I will try to get to you, and of course subscribe for many more videos to come. Enjoy Siri guys, have a great day, peace.